Hey, it's Mike Duesberg coming to you from our secret magic bunker and uh, different ways to keep yourself entertained, keep the family entertained uh, during this quarantine, I guess. Uh, an easy one, deck of cards, right? You can play, obviously everybody knows casino games like blackjack and poker, but for the kids you can teach them how to play games like gin and rummy and you can teach them how to play crazy eights and old maid and we've got a fantastic game that my family likes to play that's called loco and uh, it's kind of like uno kind of like euchre kind of like rummy all jammed together and it's so much fun we sit up for hours at night when we go to the cottage so if you like the rules to play loco uh, fill out the little form on the bottom and you'll be added to the world's most interesting email list and we'll send you how to play loco and that's a lot of fun even little kids as long as they know the colors and the suits and the numbers on the cards so five years old up to you know 90 you'd be able to play the game if you're more than 90 years old you're not allowed to play that's a rule uh, so how do you shuffle a deck of cards well for little kids this is actually kind of interesting just take the cards and spin them like this and you get these kind of little spiky wheels and then all you do is jam them together like that and let the kids jam them together because then they're actually creating a random organization of cards so those are mixed just like that uh, for older kids, as long as your uh, distance between your thumb and your middle finger lets you pick up the cards like this, right, uh, then you can do a little shuffle here. We call this an overhand shuffle. And that mixes the cards up really well. Some people like to add by going to the front and the back. That's cool. Uh, if you're in New York, out in the Hamptons or Beacon Hill up in Boston, uh, you see people shuffle like this. They call this a bridge shuffle. Like that. Don't do what they often do in New York, though. At this point, they have to they have to uh, uh, square the cards, and so the first thing they do is do this. Yes, but if you look, that actually shows everybody the bottom card of the deck is the nine of spades. Uh, so if you're playing bridge and you see that card, well, you know that that's going to be in the dealer's hand. If you're playing poker, you know that that card's probably not going to be in play. So what we do in Las Vegas, Atlantic City, like my friend Ken would tell us, keep those cards low to the ground. So the dealer doesn't see what the top card is. Nobody sees what the cards are. Nobody sees the bottom card. Keep them nice and low, and that's fair for everybody. So what can you do with this? Well, now that the cards are mixed up, I like to do a, sort of a yoga exercise for magicians. I just think of an ace, and I cut the cards, and an ace. One card deep right of mist, one card shallow right of mist. Just put the cards, square them up. Just think of an ace, a little breath inside. Cut the cards, and I get an ace. Again, one card deeper, one card shallower, I'd have missed. But give them a little mix like this. Just think of an ace. In through nose, out through mouth. Cut the cards, and get an ace. Just like that. Now, <clears throat> if I spread the cards across the table, you might be able to see in the camera that there's only one ace left in the deck. And I can tell you that I very quickly looked and counted. I know it's exactly 18 cards from the top. And so if I just breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth, cut here, I know you don't believe me. Well, to cut exactly 18 cards would have involved cutting here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 cards. And that's the last ace. So a little something for you to practice at home in the morning in your bunker. If you liked it, leave a comment below, share us with your friends, and follow us at magicmeansbusiness.com for more fun things you can do in your bunker too. Have a nice day.